Hello. We're in Seattle. Yeah. Well, we're in Mercer Island, actually. Oh. So it's, <laughs> it's adjacent to Seattle? Yeah. Yeah, we're here visiting some family. So we decided to also go to some Goodwills and a few game stores that um, Metal Jesus had actually recommended on his Seattle game store video. So the first thing we went to was the thrift store, or not thrift store. Oh yeah, the thrift store here on the island. Yeah, well I found a very, in very good condition, PS2 analog controller, and it's the teal. It's really pretty. Teal colored one. It almost seems like it's really hasn't even been used. Excited about that, because I need to get four for Bomberman. We got Spyro, A Hero's Tale for the PS2. So, I mean, I watch all these videos, and these guys are getting things for like 99 cents and I things know. like that. The prices were a little higher than what you would see at like Goodwill or whatever, but right. still good for yeah. and stuff in The good prices shape. that we're going to tell you aren't like steals and what you would find at like Right. Some yard sale or something. Well, because in our area you can't find, there aren't good game stores, and so we decided to like buy right. stuff we wouldn't normally buy at home because we wouldn't be able to find it. And so four dollars <laughs> for the controller. Yeah. Three bucks for Spyro. Uh, and then I found uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Con Chronicles. I, I really want to get not only co-op but um, multiplayer games going um, because that's. That's the fun thing to do is play games with people. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is cool because you got you got to plug in the Game Boy Advance and there's a second screen and it's uh it's the the Wii U before the Wii U. That is cool. And, and it was 450. 450, yeah. And then 450 for the Blob and I have no idea if this is good or not. It looks. Cute. It could be good. We'll see. It's THQ. Yeah, and they're kind of hit and miss, but... I'd never heard of it. The cover just looked like it might be fun. So the other morning, our family took us to Dim Sum in the International District. It was really yummy. Yeah. And so then we knew Metal Jesus had said that there was a pink gorilla store in the International District. We looked it up, and it was just down the street from where we were. So we went over there, and we got a few games. And you picked all these too. I did, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I almost got, what did I almost get? Family Feud for the Super Nintendo, but I talked myself out of it. Yes, you did. Because I love those kinds of games. So this is my first Dreamcast game, is Virtua Tennis. Um, I really like the bags that they use. Yeah, it's nice how they use these bags because they don't stick stickers on the cartridges like a lot of stores do. Yeah, and they're really, like, the seal is easy to break and, and replace, so it's actually a really good gift-giving mechanism. I got Virtua Tennis for four bucks. I'm excited to finally have a Dreamcast game. Yeah. Yay! Uh, for $15, I got Bomberman 64, so my Bomberman Quest uh, this is the official beginning of it. It has begun. And then Wipeout 64, which I'm a really big fan of racing games for some reason, which is really weird. I, I don't know why I think it's weird, but it seems weird to me. And not kart racers. Like, I love kart racers too, but I do love just standard racing game. And I would say that, in my opinion, I'm going on a rant now, Wipeout series in general follows more of just the standard racing game. Is it cars? Even though it has weapons. It's, it's hovercrafts. Ooh. High speed. Yeah, Wipeout 64, I'm really excited. Really smooth graphics on that one. Oh. So then, on the way back from the International District, we stopped at Goodwill, and Goodwill is like the size of a small country. The parking lot was as big as like a Walmart parking lot, and it was completely full. We couldn't find a parking spot. So they just dropped us off and we ran in real quick. They, the mysterious. Yeah, the, we actually couldn't find really anything. They had some like grungy old controllers and this is the only game we really found except for a couple sports games and it's a Genesis Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> and it just looks like a puzzle game. It was $2 we thought we'd give it a try. So yesterday, just the two of us took the bus down to Seattle and we went to the EMP Museum, which is the music and science fiction museum. That was cool. Mm -hmm. And then we went over to the University District and went to the other Pink Gorilla. Well, but this first we went to Bellevue. Just kidding. We went to Bellevue yesterday <laughs> and went to the Goodwill there. And they had a lot more games, a lot of like PS2 and... Yeah, Xbox and, Xbox PS, and PS2, PS2 primarily. Civ 5 for the Mac in yeah. particular. And so I got this for Trisha's dad actually. Yeah. Nerdy turn based action, world domination. It's a very relaxing game. If you just wanna forget about the world. Then we went over to Seattle. We went to the other pink gorilla which is a lot bigger. That's not a lot bigger. No, it was bigger. It was much it was bigger. a lot bigger. We got two games there. And I finally picked out a game and it is Animaniacs for the Super Nintendo. And I 
had looked it up really quick just to like look at reviews and see if it looked fun and it sounded like it would be really good. So we picked it up and it was $8. And then I got Spyro Season of Ice for $5 for the Game Boy Advance. I kind of briefly played it on the yeah, DS. Yeah, tried it. Yeah, and it's cool. It's uh, isometric. Seems like fun. So then we went uh, just down the street from Pink Gorilla was, was it Al? Music and games or something? Music, video, and games. Because mm, they had movies. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and they had all kinds of movies. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you may. So we kind of, well, you you went crazy there. <laughs> Not all kinds of stuff. But you pointed out that we still spent less there than we would on one new game. And right, got... so this was less than $60. The entire lot we're about to show. And we got 12 games. 12 games. Um, less than $60. That's why this stuff is so cool. Buying these old games yeah. is so cool. And you feel like you just went on a major shopping spree and you spent less than it would be for one new game. Yep, absolutely. Um, so they had a 99 cent bin and they had Sega Sports NBA 2K, which <laughs> it's for the Dreamcast and it's like, I just want Dreamcast games and it yeah. 99 cents. So, and Worth it's actually, a try. Yeah. And then this, uh, Gran Turismo 4, there was a copy in the... 99 cent bin, so we grabbed it and the disc is kind of messed up, but... So it's possible it might not play very well, but uh... Well, it's definitely worth a try for 99 cents. Yeah, I think that completes my collection of Gran Turismo games, except for maybe one or two, like, of the car-specific ones that they released. Oh, yeah. And then I found G-Police for $9, which is kind of high, but it's a uh, Psygnosis game and I really liked it. Um, and I played this like crazy, so uh, I had to pick it up for the PS1, and... I know it's high priced. I know all of this is high priced, but I mean it's um, like eBay prices are maybe a tiny bit less yeah. once you add in shipping. Higher or lower, to be honest. I got Bomberman for the PlayStation uh, Bomberman Party Edition uh, for nine dollars. Um, so my Bomberman quest uh, continues on, mm -hmm. uh, and then I got Crazy Taxi Two, which I, I've never seen uh, for the Dreamcast. Uh, I've seen a lot of Crazy Taxi, but I didn't know there was a sequel. And it features music from The Offspring. I picked out uh, The Jungle Book for the Genesis, and that was $3. And Frogger for the Genesis was $0.99, cents, and it's... Is that bad? The uh, sticker is kind of grungy, but it was $0.99, cents, so we thought we'd grab it. But I didn't notice this. It's fine. So, uh oh, uh oh. And then they had like these little Game Boy little bargain bin things. So we picked out a few of those. Shanghai um, by HAL Laboratories. Don't know anything about it. Mm -mm. It was 99 cents. And it looks like it had been a lot more expensive and marked down multiple times. Let's see. Let's go back in time here. I know it was so 99. So this has been in that store since 2008. So it was, it, it was clearance down from $8, eventually down to 99 cents, and then we bought it. So we'll see. <laughs> I just, I saw all these and kind of forced forced you to get them. They're all Nintendo Nintendo made games and I, I'm guessing they were early launch titles for the Game Boy. Responsible adults aren't supposed to have fun. Wake up. We can do whatever we want. We got baseball for the Game Boy and then we got Quicks which I know absolutely nothing about. It looks like it might be a puzzle game and then uh, something called Alleyway. It looks which, like a breakout clone. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, and it also has a little Mario looking guy on it. Mm -hmm. Tennis. Sweet. Which, well, tennis on the Game Boy, I don't know. Tennis on the bus, or baseball in our mother-in-law's living room. All you need is a Game Boy. Pretty interesting. Yeah. We didn't bring a regular Game Boy with us, so we can't test any of these, you know, and see what they're like, but when we get home, we will. I don't know if we'll grab anything else, probably not much, but we might just stop by the thrift store here on the island again and see if they got any new stuff. Okay, so we just got done filming our pickups video for our Seattle stuff. We were going to pick up my grandma and we decided to stop by the thrift store on Mercer Island again. We walked in and we saw a Nintendo 64 sitting there, all this stuff, and we just bought, here's a little preview, we just bought this giant bag full of stuff and it's crazy. Yeah. So it's in dollar Nintendo 64. And we have to figure out how to fit all of it in our luggage. So um, <laughs> tonight when we're doing that, we'll do another uh, little segment of the video to show you guys what we got. But oh my God, I just can't believe we just did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to film it. That's really quick because. It was like an impulse. It's like, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> it's like we have to fit all this in our carry-on. Yeah. We bought two consoles just now. <laughs> One of them's boxed, so. One of them's boxed, 
and a bunch of games and oh my god okay well, <laughs> we'll we'll tell you guys later but <laughs> that's it bye okay so we just got back and uh we just wanted to show you guys really quick the stuff we got at the thrift store and then as soon as we're done with this i have to go and try and figure out how to fit all this into our luggage <laughs> so that we can get it back home i just thought oh maybe they'll have a game or two you know and they had uh, a yeah. lot of stuff the first thing i spotted was a nintendo 64 yeah and it had been a big uh, ten dollar sticker on it and so I was like, well, that's a score. And it has the cables, but no controllers. So this will clean up real good. And uh, um, we're going to, I'm going to sell it. Yeah. Um, well. Might as well. Got to fund the Yeah, that's uh, part of it. It's collection. All it does is go, it goes back into the games. <laughs> yeah. So there was a couple games with the Nintendo 64 or near it. Um, there was a couple that we already have, but they were really good deals. So we grabbed them. It was uh, Wave Race. Beetle Adventure Racing, and this one we don't have, it is Rush 2. So the next thing we saw was this bundle of PlayStation games. Yes. And we saw, like, it didn't have a normal price tag, it had this sticker that just said number six, so we're like, what does that mean? And then we saw these controllers that and had a number three and a number And I noticed two. it was it was specifically labeled, labeled a PS1 controller, so I knew it was already something that was right. different about it. Then we saw this, which is a box PS1 with the everything, the cords, and um, all of this, the games and the controllers came with it. And the whole bundle was $40. Which, for, for everything, so we've got a total of seven games, a yeah. memory card, two controllers, and the PlayStation. So that comes out to about three thirty or something. Like per piece. Uh, per per component, which is in my opinion is really decent, especially for our luck and my yeah. in particular PS1 stuff. I'm I'm finding that I mean the consoles are easy to come by, I guess, but the You see them a lot but they're trashed. Right. And and for me the problem has been the PS1 games, getting them in any good quality is extremely difficult. Finding them at all has actually been rather hard. The, again, it's kind of running into the 64 problem for us, at least, where it's all sports games. Mm -hmm. So um, these are a good set of games. Um, so we haven't even like opened this bundle to see. We didn't even look at the discs or anything. No. So let's see. Oh god. So we've got one uh, memory that card. I can't remember the name of those. And that says it right there. So first one, the box is a little broken. It's good though. Yeah. A Crash Bandicoot, and I don't think this is the one, one of the ones we have, is it? It's the first one, I do not have We have it. like racing and different ones. Right. Saltwater sport fishing. Very nice. Hmm, that might not be that much fun. Tom and Jerry house trap. Again, broken box. Somebody was hard on their little boxes. They, they break really <laughs> easy. This one looks good. Oh, see, these are all numbered. That's why yeah. the other numbers are missing. I like how the guy was like, no, we didn't put those stickers on there. They don't come together. Right, and I'm it's like, like had the, the logo on it. The sticker has the name it. of your store on it. He's like, oh yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Polaris, Polaris, yeah. Polaris Snowcross, which appears to be a snowmobile type. Is that what that's called? Snowmobile mm -hmm. type of racing game. Spyro Ripto's Rage, the very first Dance Dance Revolution, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, and it's the greatest hits. But who cares? I guess you care if you're a hardcore collector. I actually never played this. This looks like it's never been played. Pretty sweet. Nice. Is this like PS1? This is like a later model, right? Because it says yeah. PS1. Cords look like brand new. Oh, it's so cute. It looks brand new. It's in really good shape. Yeah, it looks like it's never been used. How does it close? It's a little grimy in the... Is it broken? No, it was fine. I opened it in the car, babe. There we go. Oh, that little thing. Yeah, it's just a little mushy. Well, other than not closing, really, <laughs> it looks no, it's, really good. I like, I, like, I really so like cute. the design. It'll be good to have just a regular PlayStation console. Yeah, yeah, so here it is, all the stuff we bought in Seattle. We're leaving tomorrow. Um, we might end up stopping by the thrift store again because they said they put new stuff out every day and just in case there's something amazing. Hopefully nothing too big though. Um, because we could ship this stuff home, but at that point we might as well have gotten it on eBay, so. <laughs> That's true. It'd be nice if we could just take it. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oops. What happened? Oops. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? Nothing. I'm just like, oh my god. It's like crazy. It's overwhelming. And this is a big coffee table and it's covered. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll yeah. see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Bye. And went to, to the, the, should I even say that, the museum? Yeah. Yeah.